Hello everyone. Today I will show the solutions to the Prairie Math League High School Round 130 Problems 5 and 6. For problem number 5, we wish to find the number of ordered triples a, b, b, c of odd positive integers such that a plus b plus c equals 25. Now odd positive integers, the, in particular the odd part is going to be kind of um, problematic. So we simplify this condition. Let's lowercase a equal to capital 2a plus 1, lowercase b be equal to capital 2b plus 1, and similarly for c, where capitals a, capital B, and capital C are non-negative integers. Then we quickly see that, well, 2a plus 2b plus 2c equals 25 minus 3, which is equal to 22. So a plus b plus c is equal to 11. Now we know we use a special problem solving strategy for this specific kind of problem called sticks and stones. The way this works is you basically it basically asks if you have a set of objects that you want to put into specific groups. Then the way to do that is just to have like a stick a divider or a so-called stick separating the other stones. And now in instead of having to partition these into two groups, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven objects and choose the number of sticks. And note that the number of sticks is just the number of categories minus one. In this case, our categories are the numbers and the stones are, the, are how much we want to assign to each number. So for instance, A could be three, B could be four, and C could be five. No, that's wrong, right? That's sorry, that's four. C could be four. Yeah, okay. In this case, we would have two dividers. One, two. Because we have three numbers. One, two, three. And 11, we just put in the 11 stones here. So we have 13 objects, which is um, the 11 stones plus the two sticks. Choose the two sticks which is equal to 78. Now, this is none of the above, so the answer is E. For problem number six, we have this diagram here. So we have two circles of radius two that intersect each other at their the other center. And we have a circle that is tangent to both circles interna internally. And this circle has radius 1 and the other circles have radius 2, both of them. Now we wish to find this shaded region. In this case, we can simplify the shaded region to be this area minus the circle area over here. Now we know how to do the circle region, right? We have the radius and it's just the circle. What really bothers us is this region here. So now we want to split this up. Now, no, first we can notice that we can cut this region in two to make it easier to work with. Now we use this diagram here. This is a close up of our problematic region. Notice that this is equal to this 60, the blue 60 degree arc plus the green 60 degree arc. And now we have an equilateral triangle that we overcounted in red here. So this entire area is equal to the blue arc here plus the green arc here minus the red arc, sorry, sorry, the red triangle. Oh no, these aren't arcs, these are like sectors or something, doesn't matter. But the point is these two regions have the same area actually because they're identical, they're congruent. So we can just use a single expression for both of these. So this is the sector and this is the triangle. And now it just becomes, um, simplifies to this expression here. Four times the 60 degree arc or sector minus two times the equilateral minus this, um, the yellow circle. Now we just plug in formulas. Notice that this 60 degree arc times four is two-thirds of a circle. We can see it here, two-thirds two of a circle. So this is two, three, two over three times pi times two squared, where two is the radius, 
minus, now the area formula for equilateral triangles is S squared squared of 3 over 4, for um, where S is a side length. So you can just plug that in, and minus pi times 1 squared, the area we calculated before, and we end up with 5 over 3 pi minus 2 squared of 3, which is B. Thank you for watching.